This episode of TechCrunch Minute is brought to you by Affinity, the relationship intelligence platform for dealmakers. If you're wondering if your Facebook and Instagram posts have been used to train AI models at Meta, which owns both social networks, the answer is almost certainly yes. That's probably not a huge surprise. After all, Meta had already announced that it was training its AI on user content and data, but this week, its global privacy director, Melinda Claybaugh, acknowledged just how much of that content has actually been used for training. The topic came up at an inquiry with Australian lawmakers where Green Senator David Shoebridge said, Meta has just decided that you will scrape all of the photos and all of the text from every public post on Instagram or Facebook that Australians have shared since 2007, unless there was a conscious decision to set them on private. But that's actually the reality, isn't it? To which Claybaugh answered, correct. Posts from users under 18 are not included, but if you're an adult and you posted public photos of your kids to your account, then yes, they were included in the training data. Also, as Shoebridge noted in his question, Meta only uses posts that are set to public, so if you don't want to be included, you can change your settings to private. Of course, changing your settings now isn't going to untrain the AI in terms of what it's learned from your posts already. And it's worth emphasizing that we're talking about two different questions here. On the one hand, you may want to share your posts publicly, but on the other hand, Maybe you don't want them used for AI training. So even though it makes things more complicated, it'd be good to have more control here. In fact, users in the European Union have been given a separate option to opt out thanks to EU regulations, and Brazil has gone as far as banning Meta from training its AI with Brazilian users' data. So Shoebridge, the Australian senator, argued that this situation illustrates how European lawmakers have protected people's privacy while the Australian government has not. And outside Australia, and even beyond the AI debate, this feels like a reminder that when we post on these giant platforms, we really don't have full control over how our content gets used. We'll see you next week.